Hello there, fight friends. MMA Andy Cotterell here with Ali Wasuk, who will be fighting Tyler Wilson at BFL 79 on Thursday for the vacant BFL Bantamweight Championship. Ali, how are you, sir? I'm doing very well. How are you doing? I'm doing better now that I realize I'm actually recording the interview. So for the fans watching, <laughs> Ali and I already did the interview. It was over. It was done. We were sayonara. But here we are again because this guy didn't press record. So, all right. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Of course, of course. Okay. For the people watching who might not know you, take 60 seconds and just introduce yourself. Say who you are, uh, how you got involved in fighting, and tell us your story. Yeah. Uh, my name is Ali Bumaye Wasuk. Um, you know, I got into fighting through my family. My uncle was a black belt in karate. Um, and at a young age, he would, uh, he would uh, make my brother hold, like, pillows because he didn't have pads back then. Um, and he would just be practicing kicks. And he even, like, wrapped the pillow around my brother's head and, like, would, like, practice placing kicks. And, like, a couple of times he would, like, you know, caught him in the nose and it would just bleed through the pillow. And, uh, yeah, just seeing that, I was in awe. And uh, I'm also a very big, big anime fan. Uh, anime fan. And, uh, and uh, Dragon Ball Z, man, I would watch... Uh, so many, uh, so many tournaments in an episode, and it would be like uh, so cool watching like Goku or Vegeta just just be such like fearless fighters, and it was just like something that I was just always would blow me away. And I would at a young age, I was always like, man, how cool would it be to be one of the best in the world? And the rest is history. Now I know the answer because I asked you already, but who was yeah. your favorite Dragon Ball Z character? Uh, I would say Vegeta. For his like fearless aspect, but Goku for his like what he stood for. So a blend of both of them would be would be really cool. Now I know that UFC fighter Charles Jourdain, his favorite is One Punch Man. So maybe you two yeah. could have like a mini in-house tournament where you decide who's the better character. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> <Let's> cool. <go. laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so let's talk about Tyler Wilson, your opponent on Thursday. How did this fight come about? Uh, yeah, it was uh, brought to me uh, right before uh, the Josh fight. They asked me it was going to be uh, Ty Wilson and what I thought. And I was at first I was hesitant because I trained out there. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I was just, you know, I didn't want to fight somebody that I've trained with. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was like, you know what, let's see if they accept it. Um, so uh, Jay presented it to them. Um, they accepted it as well. So then I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Um, and then after after the Josh win, um, they they announced it in the cage, and here we are. Here you are. Tell me here what you know about Tyler as a fighter. You know, you said already he's a tough fighter. Yeah, he's a great fighter. Uh, well-rounded guy. Um, you know, comes from a great gym. Has has a great team there. Um, I've gotten a chance to train out there as well. So um, you know, I, I know I know how they train and what they do. And I think uh, I have nothing but respect for that whole mm -hmm. team. Um, and, and, you know, I'm just excited to go in there and uh, test myself against another tough martial mm -hmm. artist. When some people here who might not be that familiar with a fight game hear that you were in Montreal at TriStar, you trained with Tyler there at least, you know, a few times, they think, okay, now you know all his secrets, he knows all your secrets, and that's going to make it a tough fight. But the reality is this was years ago, and in training, training's training, it's not the same as a fight, right? So you might be doing techniques or you might do doing some sort of sparring. That's no guarantee you're going to see that fighter's A game, is it? Exactly, exactly. He might be trying uh, new things that he's been working on, um also like you know that saying that bruce lee uh said like he doesn't fear the person that knows a thousand different techniques he fears the one that uh does the one technique ten thousand times so um yeah he uh just that like just through since then to now he's probably done so many more reps on so many different techniques that it would be a com and so have i so um, I think we're both just going to be completely different fighters um, come fight day. I'm going to pose a scenario to you. You wake up on Friday morning, or maybe you're still awake on Friday morning, I don't know, and you reflect on your fight with Tyler. What did a perfect performance look like for you? Yeah, I don't sleep after the fight. So, uh, yeah, I would just still be awake. But uh, a perfect fight would be, um, you know, getting my read super quick, um, and setting up my traps uh, right away and uh, a quick 
uh, knockout, you know, not something where you close your eyes and you just swing and you hope it lands, but something clean um, or, or, a, or a slick submission um, would be a perfect day in the office. There you go. Okay, before we get going, Ali, this is your chance. Do you have anything you'd like to say and would you like to thank? Yeah, definitely. Um, I would just like to thank, uh, like, my entire team, um, you know, everybody that's been supporting me. Um, you know, a couple, a couple days ago, I, I, I saw a post with some fighter that had to retire early in his career because he had, like, a detached retina. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and that really put things in perspective for me in the sense that like, you just got to be grateful for the journey, be grateful for um, the people you've met and be grateful for all the lessons that martial arts has taught you because you just never know when this game is over. And for me, um, I'm just so grateful for um, all the people that have supported me, um, my teammates, some that are like, you know, close to me, I like my brother and uh, my coaches who at Lions MMA and TriStar West Coast who's, who've been sticking with me uh, through and through again. And, and a special thank you to my f uh, family, um, you know, my fiance uh, who, who sacrificed behind the scenes because, you know, it, we sacrifice as fighters, but our family sacrifice as well mm -hmm. by, you know, not seeing us and us not being able to spend time with them. Because for me, when I'm in camp, I'm just so dialed in that I don't yeah. get to see them. Mm -hmm. And I spend my time more recovering and getting ready for the next sessions and stuff. So um, just a big thank you to them and, and to everybody else that's been supporting me through this journey. I love every single one of you and, and it means the world to me. Gratitude can be a, a wonderful thing. And I'm grateful for you, Ali. Thank you so much for speaking with us. I appreciate it. Best of luck against Tyler Thank Wilson you. this Thursday at BFL 79. Can't wait.